Scotland, Ian Smart. Uh, Ian Smart, are you convinced by the approach that this bill is taking? I've yet to see a practical example of anything in this bill um, that's going to be made illegal that's not illegal already. And, and, and for all that the best efforts of, of both the Minister and the Lord Advocate, nobody has yet come up with a practical example of something that's, that's being criminalised here um, that's not already a crime. Give us an example. Any example will do. If it's, if it's a crime at the moment and it's covered with a bill, there should be no objection. What, it, what the bill does, though, is make it clearer than the law currently is and also puts crimes into a certain category. Football crime, hate-related crime and crimes on the internet, punishable by a certain term of imprisonment that we don't have now. And it can range from conduct involving a £40 fixed penalty at the discretion of the fiscal to potentially five years imprisonment. We don't have that now either. So this bill defines the parameters of behaviour which is acceptable and which isn't, just like we have but, but, at the but moment. Again, I mean, Ian, Ian Smart's question was, give me a practical example of something that you can be arrested and, and charged for under the new law that you, that you can't be arrested and charged for now. Well, for example, uh, homophobic abuse from the terracing. Uh, we had a, a case a few years ago involving Paul Hartley, the, the player. I think he played for Harps at the time. Uh, someone shouted homophobic remarks from the crowd. They were prosecuted for breach of the peace, and the court held it wasn't a breach there of the peace. Under this legislation, legislation, I thought this was anti-sectarian legislation no, with, with the greatest respect. It covers sectarianism, the, the, the homophobia, and other forms so of a, abuse. So it's an anti-homophobic piece of legislation no, it's, now? it's offensive behaviour, which covers... So it's any offensive behaviour now? No, it defines offensive behaviour, sectarianism, uh, homophobic behaviour, and other types of behaviour involving uh, racism. Now, that's quite clear to most people. Mm, they're 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 sensible. Sensible. With, with the greatest respect, these things are all against the law at the moment. I'm, I'm, I'm still looking for a practical example. Well, we have at the moment, Gordon, a position whereby breach of the peace is being increasingly constrained by the appeal court. And you now have to demonstrate that it would cause a severe disturbance in the community, a fairly high test. And police officers have had difficulty in interpreting what they do when they face with certain situations. That's why the Association of Chief Police Officers were in contact with Crown Office looking for guidance. So this exercise started before the difficulties of last season. It's been a long, a long-standing approach by the Crown to try and tighten up the laws relating to breach of the peace, and that's what this legislation does. And the, the most recent case that the, the Appeal Court dealt with in breach of the peace was Harris against, Harris against the Majesty's Advocate, as, as Paul knows, which essentially says that it's conduct that's likely to give rise to a public disturbance. Right, so, so still your argument is there's still, no need I'm, for this. I'm still looking for a practical example. Paul wants to give me a set of facts that says this has been criminalised by this bill and it wouldn't be a crime at the moment, then we can discuss the rights and wrongs of that having been criminalised. Yes, because, because you're but Paul... But I, I just did. Ah, but you Paul Hartley example, was, yes. was that, that as, as, as it happened in, in a court case, yes. it, 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 um, whoever was responsible yes. wasn't done for it, yes. or was it that, that as a matter of law it was, it was which I think is Ian Smart's point, that, he, that, that the offender couldn't have been done for in it? In that particular case the Sheriff decided as a matter of law uh, no offence had been committed, and what the Crown Office did following that was monitor cases, and they found a number of examples all over the country where sheriffs were regularly acquitting because the test for breach of the peace was too high. And that's one of the reasons they embarked on this particular exercise. Uh, all right, look, 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 we're getting a bit bogged down in this. Mm -hmm. Can you see any harm in this legislation? Well, well I think the harm is, is more at what it accidentally does. It's not, it's not the intention to, to criminalise going to a football match. But, I mean, we, we lose sight of the fact that a lot of football teams other than Rangers and Celtic mm -hmm. in Scotland and their fans like to sing offensive things about each other, backwards and forwards. It's part of the experience of going to a football match, and, and, and there's a real danger that what we're doing is criminalising. Yes. I mean, just, I mean what, just, just to give you a one that struck me, was one yeah. clause, you, you can't have abuse on the grounds of intersexuality. Yeah. Um, I'm not quite sure what that means, but, um, but, but does it mean that if, you, if, 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 a, if, a, if, a, if a if a player is, is falling down too easily and the opposition fans show you're a big girl's <laughs> blows that, that they're committing a criminal offence. I, I don't think so, Gordon. I think that was designed in the... Well, in what the, does it I mean? I think it means in, the, in the draft of the bill, it's to deal with attacking people's sexual orientation in a vile way from the terrorism. Well, uh, uh, not, not, go, call, go, go, not calling somebody can, 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 a, a big Jesse. It's using... <laughs> the vilest of language on the terracing, for which it might fall into the category of breach of the peace at the moment, it might not. And the purpose of this bill is to tighten all of that up. Yeah. Now, it's not a draconian piece of legislation, it is simply setting the law straight for everyone to understand. For, I mean, I'll give you an example. The, the, it's not unknown for Aberdeen fans to be serenaded with suggestions that they might like to enjoy sexual relations with sheep. 
is that to become a crime? I, I, I actually, from, from the face of the act, I don't know whether it's a crime unless the supporters being addressed actually do have such relations. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, th th this is the difficulty of getting into uh, silly examples. Now, we could have this discussion at the moment in relation to the laws of breach. No, no, well, no, it's not entirely simple, no, because let's say, that, let's, say, let's say the Aberdeen yeah. supporters don't take kindly to this yeah. and a fight starts, yeah. then I, I would have thought, on the, uh, again, on the face of it, the, the people who are shouting these things at them could be arrested. It is a possibility, just as it is a possibility at the moment. Now, this act is designed to affect offensive behaviour. That's what it's meant to do. We, we saw plenty of examples of that last season. The people of Scotland have common sense. They know what's offensive, they know what's a joke, they know what's light-hearted. So do the police, so do the prosecutors, and so do the courts. And it will all run smoothly. And I guarantee okay. in, in six which, months' time this which legislation is, which will is pass. What, which is what prosecuting attorneys, judges, lawyers and policemen always say when they want to introduce new laws. I just wonder, are, are there dangers of civil... I mean, you, it, look, you can pretty much bet your house there's going to be a boundary case here. Yes. You can pretty much bet your house someone's going to say, if they're found guilty under this, I'm off to the British Supreme Court because my human rights have been infringed. Yes. I mean, are, are there civil liberties issues here? I, th I think there are. I, I mean, it, it's interesting that one of the things that's been lost in the middle of all this was there was to be a court challenge to this legislation tomorrow, which was just kind of mysteriously dropped. I mean, it was, was it mysteriously dropped because there's no legislation now to, to, to challenge, but was allegedly for no part of the government's considerations today. But I suspect for quite a significant part of the government's considerations today. Right. Um, uh, yeah, but, 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 but I, I still come back to this point about civil liberties. I mean, uh, Paul McBride's argument is that look, we, the citizenry, have nothing to fear, even though, for example, um, you're supposed to be, it's supposed to be to do with football, but to cover, for example, fans who are going to matches without tickets, you don't have to have any intention actually to intend a match to uh -huh. be caught up by this legislation. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And one can imagine cases arising uh -huh. where someone who's got no connection with any football match uh -huh. ends up being done. Uh -huh. Absolutely, absolutely. If somebody gets yeah. on a gets on a, a train, um, at, you know, quarter past two on a Saturday from Glasgow to Paisley St James, how do you prove they are or are not intending to attend the St Mum game? Yeah. But that, that, that's a matter for the courts. Just going back to a moment, well, it's just, uh, it's a, just a nonsensical er proposition. A matter you raised earlier, uh, Gordon, this is not an illiberal piece of legislation involving the police and prosecutors in some cabal. This is supported... No, I didn't say the legislation well, was. I said you know, that's what police and prosecutors they, tend to say they when they're justifying Because they're guided thing. by the Joint Action Group, which has Rangers and Celtic on it. They wanted this legislation. Well, they didn't they, want it today. Well, no, they did want it today. What they're saying is they want more time to look at the practical effects, but they still support it. Right, OK, we'll, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you both very much indeed.